Hey everyone, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill, and it is winter time. That means the holiday seasons are upon us, and that means it's prime rib season. So we're gonna smoke up this prime rib on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're gonna make this quick and simple. It's prime rib, don't overthink it. I was always intimidated about cooking these on the grills or the smokers. Once you cook a bunch of these, you know that it's simple and they're delicious. This prime rib is going to be going on the Weber Smoky Mountain, so we've got that fired up. We're using Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal. We're using a water pan to help regulate the temperatures in there. Along with the Jealous Devil, we are using some chunks of pecan wood to help get that smoky flavor imparted into this meat. So the first thing we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna hit that with some W sauce. I used to use some olive oil or some oil on there as a binder because this is a pretty dry meat. So you wanna kinda get it a little bit wet so that seasoning will stick to it. So this is just gonna get a quick rub down here. This is gonna act as that binder for the seasoning to stick, but it should also give us a little extra added layer of flavor. So we're gonna get all sides with this here. I really don't do much to this side because this is the bone side. There is some meat here. This bone is cut off, but we aren't going to season inside there. We're gonna leave these strings on until afterwards to make sure this all stays nice and uniform. Our binder is added. Now we're gonna keep this simple. I'm hitting it with three seasonings, salt, pepper, and Meat Church's garlic and herb seasoning. I'm gonna take this glove off for the clean hand. And at first I'm gonna hit it with the kosher salt. And I like to hit it liberally because it's a big hunk of meat and after you cook it, you're only gonna have the, you know, just the outside that's gonna have the seasoning on there. So you wanna get that good bite of it. Got some 16 mesh black pepper here, only the good stuff. And the Meat Church garlic and herb seasoning. Give it that little extra flavor. Layer and flavor, guys, that's it. Just layer and flavor on this guy. And we're gonna do that to both of the sides as well. Prime rib is seasoned and ready to go on the grill. We're gonna get this grill warmed up to about 275 and that's the temperature we're gonna to try to cook it at. I'm gonna pull this off the grill when the internal temperature reaches at about 125 and then we're gonna let it rest, have some more of that residual cooking going on and the juice is redistributing. And I'm going to probe it in the center of the meat because that's the rare spot. That's the spot that I wanna keep the rarest. The outside's gonna be done a little bit more. We wanna make sure that center is fully cooked, but we still wanna keep it about rare, medium rare. So let's go put this on the grill. This prime rib with the seasoning has been resting for about 15 minutes. Let that seasoning really tack up on there. Grill's at 275. Let's get this on the grill. And I am going to put my temp probe right in the center of this, because like I said, we want to make sure that it's cooked all the way to the center. So now that the probe's in, we're going to close it up and we're going to let it run. We're going to pull it off at about 125, tent it and let it rest. So let's close it up so it can get cooking. This prime rib has reached 125 internal and is looking gorgeous. It's exactly what we wanted. We're gonna pull it off right now, tent it with some foil, let that residual cooking continue, let those juices redistribute. We're only gonna let it go for about 10, 15 minutes. We don't wanna let it cool down too much. So let's take this off the grill and we'll be back to slice. This prime rib has been rested. It is ready to go. Let's pull this foil off, cut those strings off, slice it up and taste some. You can see these juices already starting to pull so we know it's gonna be juicy. Got some great meat in this bones here so we'll save that. Now you're looking at this great tender piece of prime rib here. Let's slice it up. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, there's gonna be some good eating tonight. 
So, got to give it a quick taste here. I love eating it off this cap here that has all the seasoning on it. All those seasonings play so well together. Salt and pepper, obviously, but that garlic and herb from Meat Church, perfect on prime rib. I highly recommend it. it. Took close to four hours, three and a half, four hours to cook, 275. Get that internal temperature we're looking for. Don't be intimidated. Prime rib is easy and delicious. If you like what we did here, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on social media, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Peace.